Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you what I fed my horse to get her looking in tip top condition because as you can see here this picture is just not it this is how she looked when she came to me and her ribs are just poking out way too much her hips are just oh my god like they're just so far she had a bum like a cow like I didn't get a full overview of what like I didn't film going all the way around which I'm so annoyed about so you can't actually see it um properly but she had a bum like a cow her spine was sticking out so much and she has no muscle on her neck or on her shoulders or her bum her back anywhere she just she was just a pile of bones so i'm going to be showing you what i did to get her looking much better and i just wanted to say that as well as obviously feeding all of these lovely things um i did have to put in a hell of a lot of effort with working her to get her looking how she does now which i will show you at the end um i did not just feed these and you know off i go it's all all right i had to do a lot of work and i will make another video of what i did to build up her muscle when i'm riding um and also as well as being fed all of the this feed she had a like really nice supply of hay and obviously fresh water available at all times and this is just what what worked for her and i'm not sure whether it will work for your horse but you can try and obviously don't switch up your feeds too much but you know it won't hurt trying new things um and is that all i have to say um oh and if you're going to get a thoroughbred that is ridiculously thin make sure you can afford the fees because this did cost me a fortune so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and by the way the way i'm going to be doing it is because i obviously switched up the feeds because i haven't actually had to do this before so i switched the feed so i'm going to be telling you in chronological order of how i fed it and then i'll tell you when i stopped feeding things and stuff and what worked well and what didn't work so well for me um yeah so i hope you guys enjoy and yeah let's go so the first thing that i fed storm which i don't actually feed her right now because it's the summer and i don't want to blow her brains but um i will start feeding again in the winter is the denji alpha a oil and i really like this feed because oh, i'm just going to tell you some of the properties of it it has slow release energy so it's not going to send her mad or anything like that um, because you know her being an ex racehorse i do not want to be giving her loads of energy because she already has that um it is really rich in fiber which is literally the bread and butter of like helping your horse gain weight if you don't have fiber you're wasting your time um it's obviously got oil in it hence the name so it's really good for their coat so storm oh my god well she should have the most luscious coat for the amount of money i've spent um but yeah so her coat is just lovely and shiny and she looks so healthy and it has no added sugar or starch um well it doesn't have any starch no added sugar <laughs> got there in the end but um yeah which is also another good thing for having a thoroughbred <laughs> So the next feed is Equijaw and I believe it's by Saracens um, Horse Feeds um, and this feed was well worth the price. I think it was around £40 pounds, um, and I'm just going to tell you the price on that one because like it's obviously a more expensive feed but I found that it was really really good so I don't use it with her anymore because it's really good at like making them gain weight and as it's the summer i don't want her obviously gaining too much weight because all of the spring grass because that you know i don't want to make her go crazy because you have to be very careful um because i carried on feeding it for a while and then i realized that um it's probably a bit too much so then i um reduced it slowly until she doesn't have any anymore but I will put her back on it in the winter um, and 
some of the properties of it are that it is highly digestible or um, it has lots of calories in it without too many cereals because you don't want that too many like things like that in their diet um it has moderate starch because you'd still need a bit of starch in there but like not too much um and it's really good for her coat and as i said her coat is oh my god it gleams it sparkles it's brilliant <laughs> So the next feed that I fed her was the Soothe and Gain and I'm not going to put her back on this, not because I didn't like it, but it's because it's not, I find that she doesn't really like it that much because I can imagine it tasting like cardboard if I was going to eat it. So if I ever get another horse that is in her condition, what I will do is I will feed this to them first and then I'll move on to... Um, the feed that I like, the feed that I feed her now, which I'll tell you, um, in a second. But yeah, I'm just gonna list off some of the good things about it. It is good for ulcers, which is a massive thing for Storm, as she did have ulcers. Um, it's high in calories, which also is another good thing because obviously I had to ride her because you know, well I didn't ride her at the start, but then I, when I started riding her, um, it and being the winter you want some more calories in them so she doesn't you know lose too many um and it has magnesium and calcium and it has high fiber again bread and butter it is balanced with its vitamins and minerals and stuff um and it is a probiotic for the digestive system so that's like sort of leading on from the um good with ulcers uh, yeah, so that's all I have to say about this feed. I fed it for about two, one or two months, I think, um, and I quite liked it, but I just felt like it probably didn't taste great and still much prefers the other feed that I'll tell you about in a second. So the next feed is the Bailey's Fibre Plus Nuggets. And this is another feed that I will not be feeding her until the winter because... Um, obviously she gets enough fiber in the grass right now um in the lovely spring and summer grass um but as soon as it comes winter comes back and all the grass just shrivels up and like turns to mud i will start feeding this again and storm loved them because i would put um ready grass and these in a bucket as well as having them in a ball and she would like sometimes she'd ignore her feed and go straight to the ball or when she ate um the like ready grass she would just move all the ready grass out of the way and try and find try and find the nuggets and clearly they tasted very nice because she absolutely loved them and these are good for horses that are stable permanently or for a lot of the time which is like some the majority of the winter well not stable permanently but like a lot of the time they are in their stables because it's just so ridiculously muddy and wet um so this because obviously they're not getting the fiber from the grass so they can get it from here and um it's also good for horses that like can't get down to the the bottoms like the really juicy stems of the grass um because of their dental health um so yeah you might want to feed these also but obviously i'm not a dietitian, so speak to one of those if you want to know what to feed your horse but this is just a couple of ideas but yeah i will feed this in the winter and i really like them as i said a second ago i fed her ready grass another thing that i don't feed her right now because there's obviously enough grass in the fields and this is just something that you will feed if there isn't a lot of grass in the fields um and you just want to like sort of supplement that um, and it's also good for the older horses that like again can't get down to the like juicy bottoms of the grass and um, I fed this uh, so from so going from summer uh, to obviously winter they are going it's because of the sudden change in grass you might want to feed this over that period of time but I carried on feeding it because it's just you know there's no grass in the fields and storm was so underway i just kept feeding it to her 
but I have taken her off of it now and sometimes she gets it as a treat but I will definitely be putting her back on it um, around probably late September, October time when it starts getting cold again. Um, yeah. So the next product is the first product on this list that I did not get on with at all. So I fed this um, to Storm for a while when I first got her because she had ulcers and I don't know what I was expecting. Um, <laughs> I sort of was thinking that it was gonna soothe her ulcers a bit and it was gonna be like, I didn't think it was gonna cure them, um, but I just thought it might soothe them a little bit. But it definitely did nothing. Um, well, it did something, but not anything like spectacular. And I was like, oh my god, wow. It was just very much like, you know, if your horse has ulcers, it's probably not worth spending. I don't even know. I think it's probably, it's around maybe £30, something like that. I can't really remember exactly, but it's definitely not a cheap supplement. Um, so if your horse has ulcers and you're looking for something that is going to soothe them, do not buy this. I have another product which I love and I definitely recommend in a minute. But um, if you just want a gut balancer for your horse, um, just so you can feel a bit better about their gut health, then go for it. Um, because you know, I think this is all of like what this actually is meant for. I don't think it's meant for anything else or anything like that because it definitely did not do that job. So. Um, yeah that's all I have to say about the gut balancer because I just really was not satisfied with it. <laughs> so the next thing that I fed Storm was this aloe vera gel um, and this is actually the exact one that I fed her um, and I just did I had a syringe that I would use but she was on a course of that and I um, obviously finished the course so I don't have to feed it to her anymore but um, aloe vera is very good for your horse um i probably will end up putting her back on this once um the coronavirus is gone because it's really hard to find anything like this um because obviously oh, it, it's not in my shops and uh, deliveries are really slow but they're starting to pick back up again and I will probably get it again because I really like this um so aloe vera just really helps with the healthy digestive system and it supports the pH levels in their gut um which obviously helps ulcers and will soothe them and this is not even meant for horses and it definitely did better than the gut balancer that I had Storm on, um, the one before that I was just talking about. So yeah, I do recommend this product. Uh, I really like it. And as I say, I'll probably end up putting her back on it because I just feel like it might make me feel a bit better about her gut and it's not gonna hurt, it's not gonna hurt her, so I might as well. Okay, so the next supplement um, is something that I do not feed her anymore but I am going to repurchase soon it's just because it's so expensive and then coronavirus happened and as I said before deliveries are terrible so I will definitely probably get this again and this is the better for hooves supplement and it is about 50 pounds but it's very worth it so it was made well it was sort of like the idea of it was created by farriers and then obviously vets and nutritionalists checked it out um and it is very good and storm well my farrier nearly wasn't gonna shoe storm because her feet were so bad and this has helped them so much and they are like re her, i think her hooves are much better now than they were because before what well, before i owned her the farrier um who i use said that he sh shod her like a couple times and that her feet would just crumble um but now well touch wood 
um they don't crumple anymore when it comes to shoe hair and um yeah so i was really satisfied with this product i really liked it um but the only bad thing about it is that it's ridiculously expensive but that is probably because it works so damn well <laughs> um so yeah i really liked it but you'd have to try it out even though trying 50 pound things out without being able to return them is a bit of a risky business um so yeah <laughs> so the next thing that i feed storm is the saracens relieve and i still feed this feed and i absolutely love it i will probably never go back um so it is cereal free low starch low sugar um, and it has brilliant fibre in there, um, which is obviously, again, as I've said numerous times, it is the bread and butter of gaining weight for horses. Um, the next thing about it is that, oh, it smells amazing. It, oh my god, I would eat, if I, like, I have eaten it, that's how good it smells like i have literally i have eaten it and oh my god and it was good and i enjoyed it so storm definitely enjoys it like i will give this to her as a treat because she loves it so much um and i love it so much and i will never go back to any other cereal because oh my god yes and it is really good for their ulcers too and as well as putting weight on oh my god it's just the best thing ever if you're looking for um something that is good for their ulcers whilst tasting amazing and for you and your horse and um putting on their weight really well saracens relief is your girl like yes and it's not even that expensive it's about 15 or well, it depends where you buy it, obviously, but like £15 a bag, um, which obviously is quite expensive if you don't know how much feeds are. But as far as feed goes, that is very good. Like, that's a good price and it is a good product and I love it. So definitely check it out. And Saracens, please sponsor me because I have probably made up half of your profits this year because i have spent so much on your feed <laughs> um so yeah definitely check this feed out because i love it the next product is the ols 30x plus and i absolutely love this this is the thing that i was recommending when i was talking about the gut balancer the amigo gut balancer oh my god i uh, I researched like what to give her to like cure her ulcers or at least minimize them um and this came up and it had the best reviews and I was like right okay I'm gonna have to check this out so they come in I think two sizes um which you can see here uh and the smaller one I think is 30 and the bigger one is 50 so they're quite expensive but they are amazing so um they obviously help relieve um gastro discomfort and they assist with inflammation in the gut and assist digestive disorders like you know um ulcers um and other things like muscle soreness and reduces irritability and moodiness which definitely storm used to throw like she would literally kick out when i put her girth on um her saddle and her girth on and she now does not do that touch wood um yeah so i love this thing oh my god and it improves performance yes um and it encourages more calm behavior and storm's quite a calm horse but she is definitely calmer um, and increases overall wellness which I definitely agree with and I love it so much oh my god please try this out if you are struggling to find um, a good uh, ulcer product um, yeah definitely try it 
definitely try it it's just so worth it um and i love it and it was way better than spending however much uh, like 30 40 pounds on the other thing that did not work i'd much rather spend my it's actually 26 pounds i think on um something that works <laughs> um so yeah i really love this and try it out now for the moment that you have all been waiting for and that is the after picture reveal so this is what storm looks like after all of the money spent and the feed used and eaten and um, so yeah here goes So here is the Storm Forest now. I am so happy with how she is looking. She has way more muscle on all of the parts of her body. Um, obviously there is still room for improvement and she does need um, some more top line and bum muscle. Um, but she is definitely getting there. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out and yeah if you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye